What is going on guys, JD here, and this is something I typically don't do because quite frankly there's no reason for me to do it right now when I'm really in the middle of simply just gaining an audience and building my channel up towards that next big step. But everyone seems to be doing it right now on YouTube, you know, so there's several on YouTube right now that already have made videos about it, so I might as well chime in and fill you guys in on that rumor that's been going around the internet which started last night and has been reported over various websites this afternoon and then it eventually hit YouTube with T. Martin and Ali A and a few others doing videos on it. But Treyarch seems to have their next map pack for Black Ops 2 all ready to go, which of course will be first unveiled on the Xbox 360. I actually read this news through charlieintel.com who deals with all the latest Call of Duty news, rumors, and all that information. Some fans actually had stumbled across the product description on Xbox Live for the rumored map pack, which I'm hearing is going to be entitled Uprising. The product description reads as follows. Download the epic Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Uprising theme featuring Studio, Vertigo, and the Mob of the Dead, Treyarch's most terrifying zombies experience to date. Now Activision has not confirmed anything as of now, and I really don't expect them to, but my all-time favorite person in the COD community, the always lovable David Von Dehar, actually replied to a tweet, surprisingly, from someone yesterday, and I seen it with my own eyes, asking about the Uprising map pack, and he said that Activision and Treyarch had footage filmed and were working on the final stages of getting it out to the public. So I'm pretty positive this will be the name of the next map pack coming to Black Ops 2. He also said there's going to be a new update as well. As, as you guys all know, Revolution was released in January for the Xbox and then in February for PS3 and PC. Um, Black Ops 2 actually is going to have a total of 5 map packs with a total of 20 new maps for multiplayer. That's, in, um, that's not including the Zombies DLC. That's going to be coming out this year uh, for Black Ops 2 and it seems to be falling right in line uh, with, uh, with the calendar year for this Uprising map pack. I would really expect an announcement probably the first week of April with a release towards maybe the last part of April and then in May or June for the PS3 and PC. But uh, as for now, the new maps that were named in this product description, Vertigo. Vertigo is actually a planned multiplayer map, believe it or not, in Modern Warfare 2, but that was scrapped and most likely due to its similarities with the map High Rise. Studio is going to be something that we really haven't seen yet in Black Ops 2. And I don't have any, any idea what they're planning as far as the map design goes for that one, but if I wanted to take an educated guess, I would say maybe a movie studio layout, something you'd often see in Hollywood. The zombies portion, as stated in the, in the description, said it's the most terrifying zombies content to date. I really don't play zombies all too often. I, I played maybe roughly 10 minutes when the, first game, uh, when the game first came out, and, and that's about it. So this news probably excites you guys who enjoy that content more so than me because I'm strictly a multiplayer guy. Now, you guys all know the Revolution map pack um, is out. And it does add a dash of freshness to the game, but those of you who are subscribed here, you all know my opinion on it. I, I really feel that they should be concerned with fixing the glaring problems within multiplayer uh, before any kind of announcement is made for a new DLC. That's just my honest opinion. It seems like it's always money first uh, with these games, and, and the customer always gets bypassed, always getting ignored, whether it's uh, in-game problems or a security issue with boosters or hackers, whatever. There, there's a whole community wanting Treyarch to fix what's wrong here, and, and if you guys have been watching my content, you clearly see uh, what's wrong and, and how the game plays. I bought the season pass so that I, that I can bring you guys fresh content for the year, because I envision big things for this channel, which I will be doing a video on in about a week. Uh, I have a very busy week coming up, and I want to really update you guys on everything that I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks, uh, as well as my grandpa's condition, which I really haven't talked about uh, since the Christmas season. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. It was really nothing you know, special. I just kind of just wanted to put something on there for your, for your viewing pleasure. It's just me having fun with my buddy D-Rock last night, um, running a Cap 40 only class, and I actually did pretty decent with it on drone, and I hate drone. Drone is fucking horrible. It's just a poorly designed map. Uh, and I got myself a nice 20 kill game with just a cap 40. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this information. Let me know what you guys think about the upcoming rumor about this Uprise 
uh, this uprising uh, map pack. Let me know what you think if you have the season uh, pass for the DLC, uh, what you want to see in this DLC, uh, what you think those new maps, uh, map design m might be. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Support this channel. I greatly appreciate it. On my way to 2,000 subscribers, I can only do it with, you, with your guys' help. So let's get there. And if you guys aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'll be back with some more content later this week. I got some great shit as always coming up. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm out, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.